What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel and today I'm talking about making some money on CPUs. It's been a long time since I've made any serious amount of money, obviously like Monero and then mining your CPUs to unminable uh, to get paid out and other stuff, but you're still basically mining Monero at that point. There's been a lot of speculative coins that go, pop up on CPUs, but I just haven't messed with them. Uh, but then I came across Rabid Mining, huge shout out bro, and now I'm also going to put his link down below um, because he's the one that got me basically turned on to CPU mining. Um, and this is for Raptorium, is the coin. Now uh, I'm going to show you what my rigs are running and then I'm going to show you this calculator. Um, I'm still doing some more testing so before I release like any kind of my own how-to or anything like that I'll recommend you you go on over to uh, Rabid Mining has a good video for it also Chump Change uh, has got a good how-to um, but I have so far hold on I have a 5900X right here and that is currently doing right at around 3.5 kilohash with uh, the full tune enabled because that's that's a whole nother thing about this algorithm that's kind of different from others um, um, that equals out to on the coin uh, the coin calculator to about 144 raptorium a day and currently raptorium is about two cents so or a little over two cents so you're looking at a little over three dollars a day on a 5900x i was able to get that one um, over at silver knights so shout out to old silver knights i'll put their uh, facebook link down below and um, they also just got some GPUs in that are uh, eligible for shipping. So go check those guys out. They they really are like next level. Um, now moving on over, uh, that's another 5900X and that's another 5900X. So we're looking at, you know, three, six, nine dollars a day on those, give or take. Obviously I am not selling at this point. I'm just stacking up coins. Moving on over to here, a little bit older stuff. This is a Ryzen 9 3900X, and it is currently doing uh, basically identical to the 5900X, uh, about 3.5 kilohash. So you're looking at a little over $3 a day currently, and that's uh, November 11th, 2021, just for reference, guys. Um, had another 3900X, and then down here at the bottom, I originally built this system out for a third 3900X, so I was going to have three 5900s and then three 3900s, but um, the 3900X I was going to buy fell through, so I ended up scooping up a deal on a 3800XT. Um, that's an 8 core, and it is currently doing right at 2 kilohash, uh, and that equals out to about 85 coins a day as of today, and that's right around almost two dollars a day it looks like it, it's about a dollar dollar 75 to a dollar 80 a day um but that one also does burn a significantly less amount of power um so i'm just doing this video to kind of let you guys know i spun all this up over the course of two days uh it's a little bit different than spinning up gpu mining rigs because you have a lot more um like ethernet and power wires and that kind of thing but it's still pretty fun Obviously, once you get them up and running, you don't have to have a GPU in them anymore. Um, I was just using that while I was getting each of them uh, tuned in, so to speak. Uh, I've noticed that they do like a little bit higher speed RAM. Um, the This one has 2133, some cheapo RAM, whereas that one has like some 3200 megahertz. And that one does just a little bit better on the average. Uh, another note on this algorithm, it's hard to know what you're doing right away because the, the hash rate changes very, very sporadically. So you really need to mine it for like a good, I don't know, I'd say 12 to 24 hours and then look at your average and then change something and then retune it from there. So uh, if you like something that's quick to get up and, and like you can get fine tuning on it, uh, this may not be the algorithm for you because it, it de definitely takes a little while. Obviously, as you'll know, I have three of the, uh, I think these are the Wraith Prism, the stock coolers. And then I have three of the Arctic Freezer. I think these are the 34 Duos. So they have a push-pull configuration on the fans uh, and all copper base with the uh, copper pipes. So these coolers seem to be doing a little bit better than these stock coolers. But both of them are letting them run almost full turbo 24-7. Uh, this algorithm does vary in how much 
um, heat it puts out, how much power it pulls. So there is one or two like little times when it switches over and it'll sit at the thermal limit. I did set in PBO a uh, thermal limit and that seems to, uh, to help that. But a lot of people, it looks like, uh, are locking their core down and pulling the core voltage to save on power. Now, whatever works best, that, you know, you can go with that. But, um, yeah, we're, we're making some money right now. So, 369, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then, like, 16, 17. Almost $17 a day currently right here. And all of these are plugged into this, which is plugged into this. So that's pulling right at 1,032 watts and using some quick napkin math. I had to get out my digital nap napkin over here. So we'll round this up to 1,050 watts times 24 hours uh, divided by 1,000. That gives us 25.2 kilowatts times 0 0.1010 cents per kilowatt. So I'm burning $2.52 a day. So we'll say we're doing 17 minus 2 point, we'll round up to 260. So if I sold today, I would be doing $14.40 a day. Not too bad. There is a good bit of money invested into this setup. So just take that with a grain of salt. Looks like $100 a week. And that comes out to what, you know, 14 times 30. If it holds $420 a month. So I can almost return on investment on one CPU in a month because I paid uh, a little over 400 for the uh, the 5900 X's and then I got the 3900 X's for 400 flat. So yeah, check it out, guys. Uh, link down below for Rabid Mining. I'll see you later. Peace.